Okay, so let us quickly calculate our PBIT and for that, you know, we already have our operating profit and we are standing here and all we need to do is to deduct these non-operating expenses or add back this income. So I will use the plus sign in which case, you know, if that is an income that will automatically be added. If that is um, an expenses, you know, that will automatically be deducted. So let us do that. And for that, let me quickly show you here on my chart of accounts. And let me take you to my chart of accounts here. And here you can see if I can scroll down, you will see that if I already have operating profit, that means I'm standing here after depreciation and amortization. Now I need to do the add back of non operating and that should be done at the class level. Okay, so let us add a new measure here. And I'm going to name it as PBIT so give it a second and uh, right so here we start pbit equals first of all we should have operating profit now we already have two or calculations for that you can use any one of them so i will stick with the first one for now uh, and then we are we are going to do the plus because i already have discussed that if there are expenses that will automatically be because they are already in negative that will automatically be deducted now let us uh, apply the calculate function and i will say please pick up the total value for the period and then apply the filter on class level of chart of accounts and that is going to be now please make sure we correct pick up the value correctly that is non dash operating okay so in the inverted commas non dash operating and close the uh, inverted commas and close the brackets and this is good to go okay so let me press enter but before that i will just fix the formatting here so just give it a second and this is already done and press the comma sign as well and finally let me put it into the right tbl table okay so just give it a second and here it is perfect that is all done so i should move back to my dashboard now and uh, let me copy this pbit visual from here control c and control v and control v again and this time i'm going to pick up the second one and i will remove the filters from that one so let me get rid of that the values have changed never mind so let us remove the amount from this one and now let us bring okay why why it is calling aptata let me check it again if i picked up the right one uh, okay no i did not pick the right one so let me fix that first so let us select that delete and let us select that delete let me go back and make sure that i copy the right visual okay so control c to copy and control v to paste and control v to paste right so we are done now so let us pick the second visual and from that second visual let us first remove the filters and once filters have been removed the values have changed never mind so let us remove this amount from here and now let me bring in the pbit that should be here okay so once we bring in the pbit okay so now you can compare that and your values are absolutely all right so we have calculated all of these values and you know uh, the only function that we have used here is calculate function i, I told you that this function is going to be the more the 90 90 percent of the time you will you will be using the calculate function this is so powerful that it will be uh, working out everywhere okay so we have done this basic calculation and now what i'm going to do next is that i'm to going to bring in some visuals i'm going to create some visuals that will be you know based on these text parameters and with that we will be able to do much better you know much better presentations and visualizations